NPV and IRR calculations. Hello all. Time to calculate the NPV and IRR for capital expenditures or CapEx problems. Solving CapEx problems focus on decisions to fund long-term investments designed to improve the company's overall value or long-term productivity. CapEx includes investments like the purchase of new equipment, and the replacement of old equipment, such as machinery or computers, expansion decisions relating to the construction or purchase of new buildings, and decisions related to the purchase or lease of vehicles or store locations. Because capital expenditures are considered an investment which provides a future benefit to the firm, they are recorded on the books as assets and as such will be reported on the company's balance sheet. It is important for you to understand the NPV and IRR analysis are core components of capital budgeting. Both are used to calculate whether a proposed project will be financially viable or not. NPV and IRR analysis are basically screening techniques which allow for the determination of whether a proposed project meets a minimum requirement to be acceptable. IRR can also be used as a preference technique when selection is based on choosing the best choice of all alternatives competing for funding. We're going to perform the analysis using four techniques. Three of the four will use the financial calculator. The fourth will use Excel. Your first step is to understand what you are trying to do. Problem solving does not start with number crunching. Problem solving starts by asking the right questions. You must be clear on what you're trying to solve, what concepts need to be understood, what data is relevant, and with time value of money problems, you need to know the types and timing of cash flows taking place. Our first problem involves BASTA Corporation. You've been asked to review the data provided in the schedule and determine both the NPV and IRR. Both metrics will be used to determine whether funding will be provided for the project. NPV calculations require that you calculate the total investment, determine the years covered by the project, understand the amount, types, and timing of cash flows, and discount all cash flows using the minimum accepted rate of return. For the BASTA project, the initial investments total $874,000, which includes the $780,000 project costs plus the need for $94,000 of working capital. When a company takes on a new project, there may be an increased need for working capital. Examples would include the need for additional cash and inventory, or projected increases in receivables. The increased need is treated as a cash outflow initially. At project end, the working capital initially needed will be released back for other initiatives and as such is treated as a cash inflow during the project's final year. The expected life for this project is four years. There are three types of cash flows for this project. The initial investment of $874,000 is a cash outflow in year zero, which is day one of the project. Because the investment is a cash outflow, it is entered as a negative. The annual cash flows of $268,000 represent an ordinary annuity. 
the cash flow are an annuity because they are a series of equal cash flows paid at equal time intervals for a given number of years. They're treated as an ordinary annuity because the assumption made is that the cash flows take place at the end of each year. Both the salvage value and the release of working capital are lump sum cash inflow amounts. The sum of the two will equal 120000 and will take place at the end of the project. The minimum required rate of return is 8%. Because the rate is used to discount all future cash flows, it's referred to as the discount rate. All right, time to calculate the NPV. Make sure you clear your calculator registers before starting. Enter 4 for N, because that's the life of the project. Enter 8 for IY. The 8 represents the 8% discount rate, or minimum required rate of return. Enter 268,000 as payment, or PMT. The 268,000 is an annuity type future cash inflow. Enter 120,000 as future value or FV. The 120,000 is made up of 26,000 from salvage value and 94,000 from the release of working capital. The total represents a lump sum cash flow. It is a one and done. At that point, you're ready to press your CPT button. Press the button, followed by pressing the PV button. The screen will display $975,854 as a negative. The $975,854 is the present value of all future cash flows associated with the project. I provided a schedule to the left of the calculator to give you a visual of what you just completed. You put in 4 for N, 8 for IY, 268000 for your payment, 120000 for your lump sum amount, and you calculated the present value at 975854 Remember, in a financial calculator, when you enter inflows and you compute the outflow, the outflow will compute as a negative. At this point, we can calculate the NPV. Since NPV equals present value of net future cash flows minus the initial investment, we will subtract 874000 the initial investment, from the $975,850 present value of net future cash flows. Once we subtract those numbers, we get a total of $101,854. The $101,854 is the net present value. Since the decision rule for NPV is to accept if the NPV is greater than or equal to zero, we will accept the project and provide funding to go forward. Once again, on the Excel spreadsheet next to the calculator, I give you a visual on how the NPV was calculated. You took the present value of the cash flows of 975,854, subtracted the initial investment of 874, and you got an NPV of 101,854. Had the NPV been less than zero, the project would have been rejected. Since the NPV is positive, the rate of return for the project must be greater than the minimum required rate.
To prove this, we will determine the project's internal rate of return, or IRR. The IRR is the average annual return generated by an investment over a specific number of years from the time the investment is made. The IRR is the rate of return that make the present value of future cash flows equal to the current cost of the investment. In other words, the IRR is the discount rate that makes the NPV equal to zero. To calculate the IRR, clear all your calculator registers. Enter 4 for N. Enter 874,000 for PV. Make sure the sign is negative. Enter 268,000 for PMT. Enter 120,000 for FV. Press the CPT button to compute. This time press the IY button and your display will show 12.831 29999. The internal rate of return for the project is 12.83%. The decision rule for IRR is to accept the project if the IRR is greater than or equal to the minimum required rate of return. Reject the project if the IRR is less than the required minimum rate of return. Since the IRR is greater than the required rate of return of 8%, the IRR confirms the acceptability of the project. Once again, I've created a visual on the spreadsheet. We enter 4 for N, 874,000 in the PV, that's the initial investment, entered as a negative. The 268,000 payment, the 120,000 future value. We compute the internal rate of return or the IY at 12.83%. I have recreated the TVM registers and data entries on the Excel spreadsheet so that you can review all entries and calculations. As you see, the NPV is $101,854, and the IRR is 12.83%. The NPV is positive, greater than zero, so it's acceptable. The IRR at 12.83% exceeds our 8% minimum required rate of return. It's acceptable as well. Both metrics show that this project is worthwhile investing in. That completes the analysis for the Basta Corporation. The calculation involved both annuity type cash flows and a lump sum and was completed using your financial calculator's third row of registers. The TVM Part 2 video will solve yet another problem. That problem, however, will have uneven cash flows. We'll use the financial calculator, basic registers, to solve that problem. You will also be introduced to the CF function on the financial calculator to solve this problem because it has uneven cash flows. And then finally, we'll use Excel to solve the problem. In all cases, we're going to solve for NPV as well as IRR. You really need to watch TVM Part 2. It gives you a neat way to solve NPV and IRR problems.